like to put the floor finishes finishes on my sketch only so that uh, the they render a little bit nicer. It helps the client understand uh, a bit. I put oak flooring for the common areas, tile in the bathrooms, and then um, carpeting in the in the bedroom on the second floor here. So let's put that oak in here real quick. Real simple architecture, floor. I always save the project. It seems to come up at an inconvenient time, but it doesn't make any sense not to do that. If you've ever lost your work, you would agree with that. All right, so we're looking for oak. Here it is. All right. Then I, I, uh, I'm just going to trace around here. I'm going to pause the recording so you don't have to watch me do that. All right, so you can see the magenta line represents the area where I want the um, oak flooring to be. It should be uh, three quarters of an inch above this floor line. So I'm changing that height offset from the second floor to three quarters of an inch. And you can see right now that we have this double line, which is telling me that the pattern is going to be in that direction. I think this is the first line I drew. And that's where Revit puts the fan. So I could change that fan direction. I want it to be vertical. So I'm going to say fan direction and I'm going to click here. But now the double lines are here. My oak should go in that direction because I do actually no, that's the well, I'm not sure. I'm thinking that the floor joists are going to go in this direction. And if that's true, then the then the oak should stand perpendicular to that. So right now it would be perpendicular to that. Let's have a look. See what we get. Highlighted floors over. Okay, so something's wrong with my I'll look at it in the section. But anyway, here we go. And I think that's the way it should be. Um, but maybe not. Maybe the floor joints are going to have to and if that's the case, I would hit the tab key, click on that, just pick one of those objects. And I'm going to say rotate, and I'll rotate it 90 degrees. Let's see what happens with my pattern. There we go. Now my pattern has changed in that direction. So my floor joists are going side to side. <clears throat> I want my oak flooring to be perpendicular to the stand of the floor joist. I don't know which it's going to be yet, but I assume really quickly how easy it is to change the direction of that floor and put it in. Now I'm going to have it. Gave, I got an error message that said that the floors overlap which means that I said, I will go take a look at the section and see what's, what's wrong there. But anyway, I hope that uh, 